Hello guys! Today I'm going to show you something that I should show you since a long time but like I was traveling um, I was not that much on the jet surf. So uh, I'm going to show you today how to make the mold of this uh, beautiful jet surf as you can see here. So you will need to split the jet surf in two parts. So what I can show you is the same way that I did last time. So let's start with this one. So when you extract your jet surf uh, you just want to create the board at this moment. So I will just show you where I finished last time. Uh, the first thing that you have to know when you are like this, you need to work on an offset surface. Oh, uh, let me take the offset surface. For example, we're going to make the bottom, just this part. So if I show you the offset, I just made an offset uh, in six surfaces like as you can see here, we can go in detail if I just double click on it you will see I have six faces uh, like one here one here and one here and then three more there, four, five and six so when you have these six faces you make an offset of zero millimeters and then you can work on it the second thing uh, is that we are going to make a block so I can show you on the uh, on the other one, for example, uh, we are going to make a block like this. So you need to close all the surfaces that you can. So in this case, we don't care about the top, we only care about the bottom. So the thing is that we are going to close, uh, to close the small hole for the shaft and also the end of the jet surf. So the next step is to create a bridge curve that I can show you now. Uh, yeah, like now and uh, this bridge curve is created between this point and this point because we want to close this part so you have like here and here so you just take uh, the bridge curve function you take the first point and the last point and then you close it nothing special on this one and then after you are going to fill the surface like this one of course you have four edges and two curves because you take uh, the first one and then this one. Uh, it depends on your model, of course, but the most important have a tolerance quite small if you want to have like uh, uh, your surface closed. Okay. So as you can see, my first surface was uh, close the hole, and then you can uh, select here and then close it by by yourself. So when you have finished close these two parts uh, we are going to use now a new function that is called low extension which is extremely powerful I'm going to show you now uh, yes uh, this function will help us to create the flange as you can see here now if it's open yeah so the flange has to be perpendicular to Z axis because if you are aware Z axis is the tool axis normally on your uh, on your milling machine so what you need to know is to have like a perpendicular flange everywhere so the low extension can perform this operation as you can see it's perpendicular to z-axis everywhere so when you have to specify the vector you need to specify the z-axis like, like in this one we can try now Up. you might need to change uh, as you can see it's a mess because it's not performed in the good direction now it's the good direction but if I change you see it's inside so it's not correct and then uh, when you will have the flange created perpendicular to the direction then uh, this part will be done so after you have the low type so usually I take constant you can take 400 millimeters uh, you can know you can change from 400 to 200 it's up to you, but you need to um, to have a big one because it depends when you have to use the carbon fiber, you need to spread like a few millimeters ahead of the surface that you want. So by default I take 400 millimeters because I'm sure it will cut the block. Uh, you will understand later, I will ex I will explain you. So this is the most, uh, the most important uh, uh, parameters that you need to know. I just go back to 400 millimeters and the other one is the low angle 
Of course, we need to take 90 degrees, of course, because I want to have something perpendicular to the z-axis. Uh, of course, you can change to 45 millimeters, uh, 45 degrees, sorry, but it's absolutely stupid to take something like this. Uh, but I just want to show you how powerful is this function. And then after, you will take uh, only one side for the extension side. Uh, if you take both symmetric, you will also have an extension inside, and we don't want. And then you have to click on Merge Faces, if possible. So like that, I will try to merge them like this one. Sometimes it can't make it, so I'm going to show you after what we can do. But last thing that you have to know here is that you need to have a low tolerance about the position and the tangent. Uh, so when you have performed this operation, the next one is to close. As you can see, the low extension is quite complex and sometimes it doesn't close this surface. But it's not a problem. We can close it manually by ourselves. So this is the technique that I found. So I can create some lines. I can, I can show you now. So when you arrive here, you just create a normal line in uh, curve menu, select point, and then point to point. I just show everything like that to be simple. So you see, you select uh, point to point, you select this one, and this one, and uh, you just create a normal line, and then it will close it. Take care about uh, take care because you will also have some small, very small surfaces that are not closed, like here. So you have to check all the junctions, okay? Then after you need to fill the surfaces. So you need to close the top. So for the surface, you just select the three edges. So this one, this one, and then the curve that you created. And always a low tolerance. So I can go directly to all of them now because it was performed before ah, I forgot this one so you close up and now all of them are closed so now this the next that you have to, that you need to know is to uh, to sew the fact to sew it means that for example when I stay like this um, it will not select this one but if you sew it will create a single surface and this is exactly what you need because when you will perf when you will have to trim you will just select the sew and uh, like it will be made in one operation and the sewing function is quite simple and then uh, you will have a good trim so the sew function is uh, here yes home and then more and then sew so what you need to know you need to select one of the surfaces and then after you select the 14 other and try to have a row tolerance otherwise small otherwise you can get some troubles uh, sometimes you have to change this but you have to play by yourself with that it's up to you so when the skew function is performed the next thing to do is to create a block so we can go directly to the block and the block uh, it will be the block of your mold so you just make the dimension that you want and then you perform this you just make an, uh, the extrude be aware that you need an extrude that has to be above everything like that uh, you will be sure that it will take all of your jet surf bottom uh, and then after that you need to trim that's why uh, how uh, flange is quite important this is an important function the trim because you when you trim what you have to do is uh, that like you will take a block that you just performed, the extrude. And then after you will take the plane, which is the flange, and that was the sewing function. So you just need to click on the sew, and then automatically it will cut. After you change the direction that you want to keep, if you want to keep the top of the bottom. Of course, we want to keep the bottom now. <laughs> and then you have this thing. Up. So after you can hide the top, that I can like uh, show you now. Yes, hide, and then you hide inside, and here we go. We have exactly what I have exactly what I want. So if you want this, 
then follow the steps and then here we go we have our parts and then this is the mold that you need to have at the end like that you will be able to put the carbon fiber on all the faces and then the carbon fiber should be able to go all along the flange so later on we understood that this is not the best solution um, because when you will spread the carbon fiber you will create um, a natural blend edge can I can show you here you see that you have the flange where you spread the carbon fiber but then uh, at the angle it created an edge blend which is not good uh, because we want a sharp one so the first the first thing yeah you see it's here and then you have the uh, the first uh, the thing that we want is to um, is to have a sharp one so the first time we made an edge uh, blend edge but for the top part, we just made a straight. So we don't need this, but I still want to keep this idea. It can be a good start. So before showing you the top part, I just want to show you this. You also need to create the blank. Uh, the blank is like the, the, the block that you are going to, that you are going to mill. Uh, in our case, we needed to make it uh, in the 3D model, uh, because in the um, CAM module, they ask for the blank so uh, that's why we made this uh, our milling machine can only mill 166 millimeters according to z-axis so after the measure you need to perform the blank that I can show you now so the blank is quite simple you just create a block so we created a block of 100 millimeters as you can see here because we had form of uh, form blocks of 100 millimeters and 50 millimeters. So for this one I created a block of 100 and then as you can see it's going o over 100 like everywhere uh, what I showed you. So what I perform here is to make two blocks of 50 millimeters. This one is 60 because after I will add another block but it's not a big deal. So you can keep 50 here and then after you are going to extrude I can extrude both, for example, uh, yes, so you have two blocks and then finally you unite everything and then you have the blank. This is the blank that you need to stick, the form, of course if you have a block, a foam block of 200 millimeters, you don't need to perform this operation, but at least I wanted to show you how it worked and how I made it. So I can be back to the other parts the top so I'm going to show I'm going to switch with the other window I can show you now the top uh, which is exactly the same for the top is the same way what you need to know is to fill all the surfaces and the principle is similar so this time I will take the top parts of course and then you will take the offset surface yes up uh, which is the same so you see this one uh, is only an offset surface that I can yes you see quite beautiful you have to create a bridge curve to close this surface as well and then after you need to fill all the surfaces so up so each surface as you can see you take the edges, here is the same you close everything, you close the, the four holes uh, four holes. don't forget that you have one in front so you also have to use the low extension as I showed you before so it's the same uh, this time I took 200 millimeters I could take 400, it's not, uh, it's not a problem 90 degrees one side and then you see that it doesn't close everywhere but it's not a problem so this time everything was closed except the front line so I had to create it so up yes and then I have to fill the surface and then this one is done the same you make the sewing up and then create the final sketch which is the block like before and then you perform the extrusion and 
and then you finish by a trim as well as you can see here perfect Hop, and then uh, finally yeah, if you hide then you have what you need Hop. so when you have this then your mold is finished Ta -da! thank you guys for watching this video next time which is quite soon I will show you how to make the cam uh, with the cam module which is like uh, what kind of tool you need to use the cam operations, the toolpath, etc. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see the next coming videos. Have a nice day!